Bring it here. Oh, come on. Hello everyone, Ken here. Welcome to a day in the life of a data scientist, social distancing edition. I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you what remote data science work is like and also give you a little view into my own lifestyle. My work has changed and my uh, kind of lifestyle has changed quite a bit since my last day in the life video. So this can serve as an update and it can also help to, to show you again um, what the workflow is like, especially during the pandemic. Most mornings I usually wake up at around 7, 7.30. I used to wake up way, way earlier uh, until I read this book called Why We Sleep. So it talks about how important sleep is and how we have to let our bodies rest as much as they can. I've been doing this for, for maybe four or five months and I've, I've seen really good productivity results. I have a lot more energy and this is something I, I recommend to most people, sleep as much as your body needs rather than, um, rather than trying to force yourself to get up all the time. So after I get myself together, I usually drink some coffee. That helps me kind of kickstart the day. I like a little bit of caffeine in the morning. I've been doing this intermittent fasting for about two years now, and coffee is something that I've found kind of curbs my hunger until I can make it till lunchtime when I eat my first meal. Each morning, I write down what I'm supposed to do on this whiteboard here. So I made a reservation there. And I plan everything out basically by uh, 15 minute intervals. So I have a call at 12 today. So I have to make sure I build that in. Next thing I do is I go on, I have this giant Excel document where I keep track of all of my goals. I have my goals for YouTube, for a bunch of other things as well. Um, you know, you can see over here where I've written all these YouTube goals on the wall. Um, you know, basically, I'd like to hit that 50,000 um, 50, subscriber mark by the end of the year. And that's something that I've been pushing towards, I've been putting a lot of effort into. Um, maybe that's a kind, of, a kind of vanity thing, but... I obviously enjoy making these videos to be able to kind of share data science with, with all of you all. And a, a metric of success for me is how many people that I can reach through this platform. So I'm gonna have um, a lot of work ahead of me because not even at 10,000 yet. But uh, again, that's kind of a, 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 fun, a fun goal and uh, I have all these process goals to keep me updated. So I track every, all the followers, um, sub new subscribers each day, how many views I get each day, uh, how often I produce YouTube content, Medium content, um, you know, how often I read, and uh, I, I did a bunch of different regressions to track all of the paces of these things. So that's something that uh, gets me started thinking about what my initiatives are for each day. Today I want to learn MLflow for work, which is just a framework for encapsulating uh, machine learning models, creating pipelines. I also want to learn, uh, well, I have to scrape some Twitter data, and I need to work on um, some data exploration for a new video. I also think it's good that you're gonna see me today um, learn something new, which is MLflow. So you'll get to see the process that I take when I go about learning this. So the first thing I do is, uh, most of the time I'll go in and watch a couple of YouTube videos on the subject just to get an under, a general understanding of what it is. And the goal of my learning is to get a functional understanding as quick as possible. I wanna be able to use it usually by the end of the day. Uh, just be able to create a, a toy example at the very least. So I'll watch a couple YouTube videos, then I'll go into the documentation 
for whatever tool it is or whatever uh, concept that I'm learning about. After that, I will look at a couple examples where someone else is using it in their code and then I'll try and build one out myself. I think, again, you want to get your hands dirty with coding this as quickly as possible, but you have to have at least a basic understanding or, or, or an understanding of how someone else has implemented it to be able to effectively implement things yourself. see I have sticky notes pretty much all over the walls in my room that's how I know what to do each day I just write it down um, that's the best way for me to stay organized for me to make sure I can produce videos get my work done any of those things so maybe I wouldn't recommend that <laughs> I don't think it's exactly a great design choice but it's definitely effective So it's about time, I think I took a little break. I have a call at noon and I'm just gonna eat a little snack. So I know it's before noon, but uh, I wanted to get a couple blueberries in. I might try and hold out till dinner to any, any more real food. I'm not super hungry yet, but I'll kind of play that by ear, see how it goes. This is Luca, my roommate's dog. He's always great for break time. about me is I absolutely love blueberries. I cannot get enough of them. I could eat unlimited blueberries each day, um, but you know, that's my snack of choice here. It's a little hard to get fresh fruit in a quarantine, but I made a big grocery trip recently, so hopefully I won't have to go back out and reload anytime soon. Let's see here. Um, there's my other roommate, Phil. A beautiful succulent. Um, it's pretty easy to care for. I'm, I'm pretty happy um, that he keeps me company and watches over me and my work. All right, so I finished up my call and I've decided to go for a little walk. It is a beautiful day out there. I think that uh, it's a good way to clear my head, kind of make, get me prepared to tackle the rest of my day here. So let's do it to it. See if there's anything interesting going on uh, in the abandoned uh, city of Chicago. All right, we're outside. It's a beautiful day. It's around maybe 60 degrees out. I've been trying to get outside more and walk and hopefully kind of um, get around a bit more nature. We're obviously in the city right now, so it's not super possible, but it's a local university I can go over to and there's some good uh, kind of park spaces there. Again, I think it's nice to 
try and get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. I found that I really recharge when I go outside, when I walk around, when I can actually see trees, which are not super uh, available where my apartment is. I've also found that I, I really like going on some of these trips where I don't use any technology at all. I go on a fishing trip or ski trips every year. Uh, and, and in those cases, I, don't, I try and leave my phone off as much as possible, I try and just connect, completely recharge. Uh, if you have the ability to do that, I highly recommend it. Uh, experimenting with that if you can. You know, you'll come out a completely different person. Found a good place to sit, it's relatively quiet. Might meditate a little bit, uh, just kind of enjoy some of the sounds that are not city-like and then kind of head home and get back to work. All right, just got back from my walk. I actually went to the store real quickly. Don't worry, I did wear my protective mask uh, and also some gloves. Um, got a couple little snacks. I went to the, the Asian grocery store right there. Um, and I'll hopefully be eating a pretty big dinner tonight because I didn't have too much in the way of food today. All right, this afternoon, I actually really don't have too much work that I wanted to do today. I'll probably uh, just do a little bit more programming. I might edit a couple of my YouTube videos and then uh, I'll order in some dinner. to go for a little bit of Indian food for dinner. By a little bit, um, maybe maybe a lot bit. Okay, I'm digging in here. This is some of the better chicken tikka sauce that I've had. It's really spicy though, so um, I'm loving it and part of it's probably the pain here. Remember to support your local restaurants by ordering in if you can. Our dinner was really good, but it was super spicy. Like, my ears were popping, it was so spicy. I haven't experienced that one in a while, but I still enjoyed it. After dinner, I usually take some time to catch up on YouTube, I answer some comments, I also relax a little bit. I usually save my reading until after 8 p.m., um, but right around 8.30, I usually put my phone in the other room back where it started the day and I just um, try and tune out all electronics, uh, or mostly electronics, except for maybe my, my laptop uh, over there. So since I got a little sweat in today, I took a quick shower before bed. I also put my phone in the other room so that it, you know, it doesn't bug me. Uh, at night or anything like that. Now it's time to do a little bit of light reading and then I'm just gonna call it a day. So tonight I'm reading this book called Alchemy. It's a uh, pretty interesting book. It talks about behavioral economics and why people don't always make rational decisions in marketing. So I'm gonna uh, read a couple pages of this and then call it, uh, call it an evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. I you know, I'm glad I was able to share what a normal day in my life is like with you all.